this is the new iPad mini. Let's take a look at its best brand new features. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. You can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And I have my hands on the brand new 2021 iPad mini 6. And I'm gonna show you my favorite new features of Apple's smallest tablet. Starting off with the new color options. Now the color option I am showing you here is just the generic space gray that's been around for a while. But you're sure you have the option between space gray, pink, purple, and starlight. I kind of wish there was a blue or a green, but still, this is a great new update. The biggest feature though that you probably want to see is the design. The design vastly changed from the prior generation, starting off with this flat sided design and Touch ID. Touch ID has been baked into the home button, which has allowed smaller bezels around the edge and seamless entry and authentication for your tablet. That's right, they finally ditched the home button on iPad mini. It now has an 8.3 inch liquid retina display, which means it has those curved corners. It's up from 7.9 inches. There are stereo speakers on either side and you can see the buttons have been relocated as well. Driving the iPad mini is the A15 Bionic processor, which is the five core GPU version, which is the same one pretty much that's in the iPhone 13 Pro. So here are some benchmarks to prove it. This is Geekbench 5. You can see that while the iPhone did win in the single core, the iPad mini won in multi-core, it was nearly the same performance for the compute graphics test between the iPad mini and iPhone 13 Pro. And looking at the machine learning test, we can see that the iPad mini actually won against the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Number four top new feature is support for Apple Pencil 2. While the original iPad mini was supporting that first generation Apple Pencil, Apple Pencil 2 is far better. There is gesture controls on the side by tapping. It has a much better design with this matte finish. It doesn't roll around your table nearly as much. And of course it supports that inductive charging by magnetically holding itself against the side. Apple Pencil 2 is so much better than using the lightning port on the bottom of the iPad. And I'm so glad it is on the iPad mini 6. Let's take a look at number five, which is that upgraded rear camera. Apple did a big update on the rear camera. It's gone from an eight megapixel shooter to a 12 megapixel shooter, much higher resolution. And honestly, taking photos with the iPad mini is far less embarrassing than taking them with an iPad uh, Air or an iPad Pro. It also now supports 4K video recording. If we look at the front facing camera, it got a massive upgrade as well this year going from seven megapixels all the way up to 12 megapixels. Great for working from home, uh, e-learning, all of that. And it supports a 122 degree field of view, so you can fit a whole lot more in there when you need it, whether it's you or multiple people. And if you're in a FaceTime call or a Zoom call, you can take advantage of center stage. It's able to zoom in on you intelligently and the camera can move around with you, following you as you go and it is supported in third-party apps like Zoom. We also have eSIM support on the iPad mini 6. eSIM is basically a digital SIM card inside the tablet itself. So if you have that cellular option, you can use eSIM to sign up for a cellular plan without having to go through an actual character and get a SIM card and all of that. And speaking of cellular, the new iPad mini is also the first iPad mini to support 5G. You can get crazy fast download speeds on the go by using a 5G connection in those compatible models. Finally, my favorite feature is USB-C, number nine on my list of the top features of the iPad mini. With USB-C, you have so much potential. Plug in external monitors to get work done, plug in USB-C hubs, or use USB-C storage like a flash drive, hard drive, or SSD. You can even connect other random accessories like this here Apple Watch charger from Native Union can plug right into that USB-C port and I can charge my Apple Watch here while I'm watching a video or taking a call on my iPad. It is just amazing to do and using the files app you can connect to that external storage, you can tie into uh, third party applications, you can edit videos and things like LumaFusion directly off external media or you can back up your photos, whatever you wanna do. USB-C just brings a ton of new support, new functionality to iPad mini that it didn't have before because it was limited with that lightning port. 
So that is it. Those are my favorite new features of the updated iPad mini. Let me know what all of you guys think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you want to grab an iPad mini for yourself, check out the links that I put down below in the description.